Lamborghini's new V12 is unlike anything you've ever seen before. And you might be able to get behind the wheel of one even if you don't have Lambo buying money. I can't say the same about some of these other upcoming supercars though, like the $3 million Koenigsegg Jesko or the McLaren GT with its electrochromatic glass roof. But we can always dream, right? Here are all the coolest hyper cars finally making their way to the market. Make sure you stay tuned until the end for all the details on the new Aston Martin making its debut as the next Bond car. Koenigsegg Jesko. The Koenigsegg Jesko is the newest model from the Swedish car maker, and it's going to be coming with a $3 million base price. It features a 1,280 horsepower V8 engine, a state-of-the-art nine-speed transmission that Koenigsegg built themselves in-house, and rear-wheel steering for faster cornering and improved maneuverability. Oh, and did I mention it can go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds? Considering that producing 25 models of the supercar will cost Koenigsegg up to $10 million for design and another 10 million for production, it's no surprise that the car boasts some pretty cool elements to make the price tag worth it. It has forged aluminum and also features the brand's auto skin function that opens every body panel with just the press of a button. The Jesco is also equipped with dihedral doors and the auto skin system uses sensors to prevent these doors from opening if there's any obstruction. Meanwhile, the inside of the supercar looks like it was made for racing, which is no surprise since there is also so a track-only Jesco set for release that'll be made available to racers. Lamborghini's newest V12, the Vision Gran Turismo, is unlike anything you've ever seen. And what it was manufactured for is probably pretty surprising too. The car is based off the Lamborghini Cyan FKP37 and features similar specs. It can go from 0 to 60 in less than 2.8 seconds, has a top speed of 350 kilometers, and boasts 808 horsepower. You can even drive one yourself. All you need is a PlayStation 4. What? That's right, the Gran Turismo is actually a virtual car with a very impressive concept concept model. The car would cost about $3.9 million on the market, but instead Lamborghini spent anywhere between 100 k and 300 k to design and build this concept model to get gamers to want to climb behind the virtual wheel. The goal with this unique car is to provide the ultimate virtual driving experience for Lambo fans and gamers alike. The one-seater car will give drivers the Formula One experience, complete with a state-of-the-art racing wheel, while only 65 models of Cyan were made and they all sold immediately. Getting your hands on the Gran Turismo just requires a quick download. Lamborghini's other cars are a lot more unattainable. While the release of a new Aventador has been pushed back as far as 2024, Lambo did release a revamped Aventador in the form of the Aventador S in 2017. And we already have some reports on what their newest model will look like. It's looking like the new Aventador will be an all-electric hypercar similar to the Terzo Millennio. It'll have a dual-clutch transmission, rear-wheel steering and all-wheel drive, as well as tons of carbon fiber, a favorite of Lambo and other supercar manufacturers. To compete on the market, Lambo will probably also introduce at least 1,000 horsepower and a top speed of 350 kilometers. And the car will go from 0 to 60 in no more than 3 seconds. While the newest Aventador might be a couple of years away, you could always start planning to buy one now. Just keep in mind that you likely won't be able to drive one for any less than $500,000, plus another $7,500 in yearly maintenance. Another car that I just can't wait to finally hit the market is the Tesla Roadster. The release date has been pushed back to 2022, but Tesla claims a top speed of more than 400 kilometers an hour and the ability to go from zero to 60 in just 1.9 seconds. Tesla also boasts a range of 620 miles with a 200 kilowatt battery. And apparently Elon Musk is also trying to get rid of side mirrors and is asking for permission to install cameras instead. The base model of the Roadster is expected to go for $200,000 while the more limited edition Founders series is limited to 1,000 models will cost 250k. There's also going to be 10,000 base models produced per year, so you might want to hand over your $50,000 reservation now, or the entire 250k if you're hoping to reserve a Founder Series. There's another special edition model of the Roadster that Musk has teased that comes with space technology. The car will incorporate SpaceX thrusters around the exterior to improve speed, braking, acceleration, and control. The space edition could end up costing an extra $50,000 or more, though. 
Ferrari's celebrated SF90 Stradale is about to get an upgrade in the form of the SF90 Stradale Spider. This new convertible version of the car is still in development, but a concept model was spotted being tested out in the wild. Like the Stradale, the car will come with a 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine, an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, and a trio of electric motors. It'll have 986 horsepower and go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, with a top speed of 340 kilometers an hour. If you want to customize the Spider to your liking, you'll probably be able to do the same with the Stradale and choose from different upholstery, wheel designs, carbon fiber components, titanium exhaust pipes, and brake calipers in varying colors. While the Stradale has a $625,000 price tag, we can expect that the new Spider option will come with extras and might be a limited edition, which could bring the price up as much as 100 k the Porsche 911 Turbo S is supposed to be released in late 2020, and it'll feature all the awesome perks we've come to expect from the luxury car manufacturer. It'll sport a 3.8-liter six-cylinder engine with 640 horsepower, a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour, and the ability to go from 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds. But what's extra impressive is the interior. You see, every Turbo S comes with 18-way adjustable sports seats for maximum comfort and a full infotainment system, including a 10.9-inch touchscreen screen, Bose surround sound stereo, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also opt for a carbon fiber interior trim and Porsche's Sport Chrono package. The price tag for the supercar is already $205,000, but be prepared to add a few extra thousand to your budget, if you plan to go without the extras. But since the car also comes with tons of color options, interiors, and wheels, it might be worth all the extra money to really make it your own. The McLaren GT comes with more luxury than any other McLaren on the market. The GT sits on a carbon fiber structure and its super sleek bodywork is made from aluminum panels for weight reduction. This leads to tons of speed with the McLaren able to go from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds and reach a top speed of about 330 kilometers an hour with its 4.0 liter V8 engine that generates 612 horsepower. The GT's interior features Napa leather upholstery and cashmere and microfiber seating. An optional panoramic glass roof lets natural light into the cabin and is available with an electrochromatic feature that allows it to switch from opaque to varying levels of transparency. The interior also has some cool tech features like a 7-inch portrait-style touchscreen with graphics inspired by those used on private jets. While the GT only seats two passengers, it comes with 20.2 cubic feet of cargo space, which is pretty great for a luxury supercar. The price for the GT starts at $213,000, though the cost easily reaches $250k if you add many of the extras. The Audi e-tron GT is trying to bring more sustainability to the auto world. It's set for release in 2021 and will come with two separate electric motors that produce a combined 590 horsepower. It'll be able to go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and, in typical Audi fashion, it'll feature a Quattro system that can distribute power to individual wheels for sharper handling and traction. But it also has an electric driving range of 249 miles and its 800 volt charging system is expected to replenish 80% of battery life in just 20 minutes. It's even expected to feature wireless charging. On the inside, the e-tron is still sustainable with an all interior fabric made entirely of recycled materials. But don't think that that makes e-tron less glamorous than other supercars. It also has a super modern interior with multiple digital displays on its angular dashboard. An official price hasn't been released yet, but it's expected to cost at least $100,000 with room for another $50,000 worth of extras. First revealed in 2018, the much-anticipated Genesis Essentia is finally in production and won't disappear like many cool concept cars of the past decade. The Essentia made headlines when it was first released for all the big promises it boasts, including an engine with a rumored 1,900 horsepower and the ability to go from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. Pair that with these windows that offer maximum privacy before revealing the super cool, modern, and colorful interior in the Essentia is, well, it's pretty eye-catching. There's a strong possibility that the Essentia will end up being a battery-powered car because Hyundai recently invested $90 million in the Croatian carmaker Rimac, which specializes in battery electric supercars. But Genesis CEO Manfred Fitzgerald has also shown interest in making the vehicle hydrogen-powered. It's hard to say which way they'll end up going, but we can expect a minimum price of about $100,000, and maybe a lot more if you consider the millions of dollars that the company is investing in creating new sustainable auto tech. 
Developed in partnership with Red Bull Racing, the new Aston Martin Valhalla will finally make it to market around the same time we'll get to see it as one of James Bond's cars in the next 007 movie. Only 500 of the supercars will be built at a price of $1.3 million each, and it will come with a lot of cool features that make it worthy of a Bond car. The Valhalla has an F1-inspired powertrain and features a turbocharged 3-liter V6 engine, 1,000 horsepower, and can go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. It'll also be a cordless hybrid instead instead of a plug-in. The interior is also decked out with high-tech accessories. There's a screen mounted on the steering column so the driver's eyes don't even need to wander. And there's a discreet band across the top of the dash that provides ambient lighting, audio, and ventilation. There's even a rumor that the Valhalla will have a heart rate monitor built into the steering wheel with data you can display on your smartphone. No word yet on whether or not these perks will cost extra, but you can expect that the Valhalla will easily reach $1.5 million in value with the right upgrades. Which of these upcoming supercars are you the most excited about? Let us know in the comments.